Magnolia is a 1999 movie. Three hours long, it has a rich cast of characters who live in multiple complicated plots. We watch five main stories, and they just barely intersect with one another. In most of the editing, the different stories are intercut in short sections of a minute or two. Some called it a crossword puzzle of a movie. Let me give you another starting point. Magnolia is one of my lifetime favorite movies because I love the skilled interweaving of stories and the diverse and unforgettable characters. I love the haunting music, both a songbook from Amy Mann and a first-class orchestral score by John Brion. Paul Thomas Anderson wrote and directed Magnolia, and many articles about it use a character map like this one. You are going to hear me argue for the character of Claudia as a pivotal figure. She's an unhappy, confused young woman. She lives a fragmented life as a drug addict who rarely leaves her apartment. But she's also a sympathetic character. She has four scenes. In the first, she repels her estranged father. In the second and much longer scene, she interacts with Jim the policeman inside her apartment, which ends with him asking her out. In the third scene, she's with Jim on their date in a restaurant with a long dialogue but she ends by walking out. In her fourth and final scene, she sits silently on her bed, she listens to Jim, and she smiles. When she smiles, we cut to black, and the three-hour movie is over. Claudia is an important character foremost because we can identify with her. She's attractive and thinking every minute, but in trouble. In her first scene with her father, She's defending and protecting herself by stonewalling him. In her second scene with Jim making him coffee, struggling to interact with him, she's trying to pull herself out of her dysfunctional hole and he may be the latter. So from the first time we see her, she wants to change. Following the rule that the most important character in a story is the one who changes the most, I propose for Magnolia that character is Claudia. Another side of Claudia comes from Amy Mann's iconic songs for the movie. If there is any character inside the movie who channels the character of Amy Mann, the songwriter, it is the unhappy young woman, Claudia. Who is the actress? Melora Walters was 39 when Magnolia was made, and she's had an ongoing career in films and quality miniseries. In addition, she's had a lifelong second career as an artist. Some of her paintings remind me of Egan Scheele, and her website for paintings is in the description. That's something about the film Magnolia, about the character Claudia, and about the actress Melora Walters. In the description, you'll find some Melora Walters resources and a few of the many online articles about Magnolia. I'll also link you to an hour-long dialogue I had with ChatGPT about Magnolia and its characters. Thanks for watching.